Hello friends, it's time for Third Thursday Thrift Flips, hosted by Tammy from The Rusted Willow and Elizabeth from Southern Gilmore Girls. Links to the host and the playlist will be in the description box. I found this planter at Goodwill last year. Uh, I was on one of the half off days, so I ended up getting it for $2. Um, it's got this crackling and this kind of a little flourish on both sides. It's all wood. Um, I want to go ahead and give this a makeover to make this look a bit more like cement or stone and pop this off and then fill it with some beautiful springy, summery type florals going to go ahead and give it a wipe down and then get this pulled off. This crackling isn't bad. It's really pretty and it has gold underneath this peeking through, but I'm really feeling like I want a cement stone type finish. Okay, so to embellish the sides before I repaint, I have some floral silicone molds with um, roses with the stems and leaves and then some rosettes. So I think I want to have um, beautiful roses, maybe these large roses, and then a couple of these maybe um, flanking on the sides and then I have these leaf molds so maybe I'll add a couple of leaves coming down just to change it up and I think it'll look really pretty once it's all repainted so it looks like it's all cast in stone and I have Sculpey air dry clay that dries in about 24 hours So when I'm popping these rose pieces out, I realized that I should have just used one large piece of clay like I usually do with these molds, but I wanted to avoid having to do a lot of picking around the look really thin area where the stems are so with them in pieces like this I'm like arranging and rearranging and I just kept fiddling around with how I wanted everything set up and I did end up using two rosettes on either side of my center roses and then I used a single leaf on either side and I didn't have them at the bottom I ended up making them um, to go just a bit a slightly a little bit higher than the rosettes so I have this beautiful like 3d image of all these roses nearly you know along the whole length of the front and back and I think it really gave a nice look and very different from the original little flourish that was on this planter To attach my clay pieces, I use a combination of Aileen's Tacky Glue for the long-term hold and a bit of hot glue for the short-term hold. And then I let my pieces sit up overnight before I started my painting.
Okay, so I let this dry overnight and it's ready to be painted. So this is the opposite side that I just went ahead and used a full piece of clay and pressed it into the mold rather than piecing it like this side that I did on camera. But everything's going to be the same color, the same stone-like color, so it really won't matter but i'm very happy with the way this turned out so what i want to do is mix um like a custom color i've got um some chalk paint and um, mineral from waverly a bit of granite gray a little khaki and then um some white so I'm hoping with all of these colors mixed together that my planter will have the appearance of a cement planter with different variations in color and not just one single tone. And then finally, I added a little bit more white and didn't mix it all the way through, just kind of streaked it through. So once it's applied to the planter, it really will give the appearance of cement with little streaks here and there of white peeking through. Once my initial coat was just about dry, I dipped directly into the swirly areas where the white paint was and tried to accent on top of and around the flowers and hit a bit of the tops and the bottom pieces so that white would really stand out. And here the planter is with the paint completely dry. I love that the crackling is still evident through the gray paint. So I decided not to do a full second coat. I just, like I said, I went back and dipped into the white parts and did a bit more of, of accenting to certain areas. And I just love the way it turned out. It looks aged, it looks like cement, and I'm happy with this makeover. I have some packing styrofoam to add. I have several different types of florals. I have some white roses, some really pretty um, frosted florals from Dollar Tree, and these gorgeous golden yellow roses. So I'll try them out. I'm not sure what I want to use, so I'll just do a different, um, a few different looks, and then I'll get consensus from you guys in the comments these florals are really beautiful for spring with the purples the pinks and the yellow tones they really look nice against the grays of the cement and this white is a beautiful neutral option that really could be used year-round different decor styles glam could be you know this could be used for glam decor farmhouse decor very versatile and i love these large white roses i found those at family dollar for three dollars these golden roses i found these at family 
Dollar Dollar as well for $1. This is a really beautiful spring summery look. The bright vibrant yellow against the cool gray. I think I might like the yellow roses best, but you guys let me know which one do you like best? Option one, two, or three. I think they all look great in this made over planter. Don't forget to check out our talented hosts, Tammy and Elizabeth, and also the playlist. The links for the hosts and the playlist will be in the description box. Thanks so much for taking time to watch my video today. Have a wonderful day. God bless.